Hello everyone. As a part of the INICT revision series, the today's topic for discussion is the medical emergencies. So, before going ahead with the emergencies, for all the updates related to the general medicine, you can follow my Instagram handle that is Rajesh Gubba. And uh, before starting with the emergencies, please answer this question in the comment box. What is Beck's triad? The options are hypotension, tachycardia, raised JVP. Second option, hypotension, muffled heart sounds and small sign. Third, hypotension, muffled heart sounds and raised JVP. Fourth option, hypotension, muffled respiratory sounds and raised JVP. So you can answer this question in the comment section and I'll reply you back again. So in this medical emergencies, like these are all the options and you need to answer the most appropriate emergency management for the from the options above and these are the various clinical scenarios so the first important clinical scenario is a 40 year old rescued from the factory fire presents with strider and the cyanosis endotracheal intubation is unsuccessful so you need to suggest what is the emergency management in this individual so if the endotracheal intubation is unsuccessful among the options which has been given to you like what is the treatment that you will be doing see among the options given to you the first important option that you will be thinking about is the tracheostomy but if you observe here the entire endotracheal intubation that is endotracheal tube placement into the trachea is unsuccessful so tracheostomy will be of no use so the best answer here will be cricothyroidotomy now what exactly is your cricothyroidotomy so cricothyroidotomy it is an emergency airway procedure that should be performed only when other means of establishing an airway including endotracheal intubation is failed that is when you will do this cricothyroidotomy now in the clinical scenario which has been given to us the individual had exposed to the fire and due to which he has strider and strider in the sense where there is the constriction of the trachea so in this particular case the upper airway obstruction is probably caused by extensive oropharyngeal edema from inhalational burns now what exactly or where exactly is your cricothyroid membrane cricothyroid membrane it can be located by feeling from the thyroid cartilage so this is the thyroid cartilage and then running the index finger down until you can feel a space between the thyroid superior and as well as this is the cricoid cartilage so this will be the cricothyroid membrane so this is the place where you need to do the cricothyroidotomy so the answer in this question will be cricothyroidotomy now you see the second important clinical scenario a 21 year old man presents with status epilepticus so what is the emergency management so among the options which has been given to you so you have to give benzodiazepines benzodiazepines are the drug of choice for status epilepticus so you have the oral diazepam you have intravenous diazepam and you have oral timazepam. So these are the benzodiazepines. So in status epilepticus, the route of administration of your diazepam is intravenous route. And along with that, you need to connect the patient to 100% oxygen. Now, how is the approach of a patient with the status epilepticus? Drug of choice will be lorazepam. If two options are there, lorazepam and diazepam is there, then go with the lorazepam. It has longer duration of action as well. And with two doses of lorazepam, if still the epilepsy is continuing, then you need to give the phosphonatoin, right? You can repeat two doses of phosphonatoin. And in spite of two doses of phosphonatoin, if the epilepsy is continuing, then you can consider valproate. And in spite of valproate, if the epilepsy or if the epileptic attacks are continuing, then we give two doses of phenobarbital. And in spite of phenobarbital, if the epileptic attacks are there, then you need to give propofol or medazolam or pentobarbital should be given. So this is about how you will approach a case of the status epilepticus. Now, after having discussed about the second medical emergency, you take the third emergency. A 35 year old 
builder is brought to accident and emergency after suffering a blow to the side of the head at work he did not lose his consciousness but 4 hours afterwards complained of a severe headache he became very confused and his conscious level is deteriorating on examination he has dilated right pupil and pulse rate is 50 beats per minute and the blood pressure is 168 by 100 millimeters of mercury so among the options which has been given to you like what is the emergency management that you will be doing so now what is this clinical scenario suggestive of so it is a case of the head injury with raised intracranial pressure right and so initially he was normal four hours after that the individual is confused and his conscious level is deteriorating so what is this suggestive of this is suggestive of the extradural hemorrhage right and this extradural hemorrhage it occurs because of tearing of the middle meningeal artery and the individual is having bradycardia and as well as raised blood pressure which is nothing but because of raised intracranial pressure the individual is displaying the Cushing syndrome as well or the Cushing's response as well not Cushing syndrome Cushing's response as well so what is the emergency management in this individual so the, there is rupture of your middle meningeal artery and the emergency management it involves drilling a bar hole and after drilling a bar hole you need, you need to evacuate the hematoma and clipping the middle meningeal artery to stem the bleeding so the emergency management in this clinical scenario is doing the bar hole and evacuating the hematoma now you take the fourth important clinical emergency a 30 year old woman is rushed to accident and emergency after a stab wound to the chest on examination her heart sounds are muffled jugular venous pressure is raised on inspiration and blood pressure is 75 by 40 millimeters of mercury so raising on inspiration is not there right this is incorrect so jugular venous pressure is raised now so what is the emergency management that you will be doing in this individual so whatever has been given to you the clinical scenario it is suggestive of the cardiac tamponade so presence of the muffled heart sounds raised jvp right hypotension that is suggestive of your beck's triad which you see in case of cardiac tamponade so in cardiac tamponade what is the best treatment is like you need to do pericardiosynthesis and whenever you are doing pericardiosynthesis what should be the approach so please remember it is the subxifoid approach through which you need to do right through which you need to do the pericardiosynthesis the last important clinical scenario is a 34 year old woman collapses at airport arrival launch with sudden dyspnea blood pressure is 90 by 42 millimeters of mercury and partial pressure of oxygen is 6 kilopascals so hypotension is there and also hypoxemia is there and the individual has suddenly collapsed at the arrival launch okay so what do we need to anticipate the individual might had might have had a long air travel following which the individual had sudden onset dyspnea so what is this suggestive of this is this will be suggestive of pulmonary embolism hypotension is there so definitely uh, she is an ideal candidate for thrombolysis but among the options given to you like thrombolytic therapy is not there so the best therapy for her will be 100% oxygen and intravenous heparin has to be administered and if the individual is having no response to the drug therapy right no response to the drug therapy in pulmonary embolism what you need to do is you need to do open surgical embolectomy right so this will be the treatment in case of pulmonary embolism refractory to medical management so these are the five medical emergencies which i wanted to discuss today so again to summarize okay so please answer this question in the comment section what is beck's triad so among the options which has been given to you a b c d if you answer that in the comment section definitely i will help you in giving you the appropriate answer and as well as appropriate exp explanation so for more updates related to general medicine you can follow my instagram handle that is rajesh gubba thank you very much see you tomorrow with the continuation of inict revision series